Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome on our next webinar, Trading Psychology. Today, very important topic, although not many uh, traders want to learn about this, uh, but they should. They should because uh, trading psychology is the key to your profits. And uh, in overall, to be a successful trader, you need to study trading psychology and you need to have a proper trader's mind. You may think that the most important are strategies, systems, etc. But it's not true. The most important is trader's mind, trader's psychology. And about this, we will talk, uh, talk today. Uh, so, my friends, uh, first a small introduction. So, uh, my name is Tomasz Wyszniewski. I'm a professional trader. I'm doing price action swing trading. I do it for uh, 12 years. And in that time, I did like 500 uh, webinars across the globe, uh, we webinars, seminars and webinars across the globe. Uh, and also I was uh, a lecturer in one of the best, actually the best Polish uh, private university where I was teaching about forecasting exchange rates on the currency market. So my friends, today we're going to talk about trading uh, psychology. And in order to understand this topic, uh, you need to, it would be nice if you would have some experience on the real account, because uh, that's my first question. So um, uh, your performance on demo and on a real account, because it, it differs, right? Uh, it differs uh, usually, I'm not saying always, but usually on the demo account, people are having better results. Traders are gaining more money. They are uh, losing less money, they just simply have bigger profits or they have profits and uh, not like on a real account. And that's usually the case. But why is that the case if quotes are really the same? So you have the same prices. Factors which are affecting the price are the same too, right? So there's a president of the United States which is, says something and it affects the demo and real trade in the same way. You trade on the same platform on MT4, you use the same orders, you use apparently the same system, the same trading system. You don't change in real or demo account. Mm, I mean, consciously. So why those results are different? Why most of the traders earn money on the demo account and they lose money on the real account? So the answer is that it's, of course, the power of your mind. That's why we are here. We are uh, talking today about tra traders trading psychology. So it is because of the fact that you are investing real money. This affects your trading decisions, right? When you are investing demo money, fake money, uh, you don't have all those emotions that are associated to trading. Your mind forces you to trade differently when uh, real money is playing, is at stake. You start to feel all the emotions uh, which you didn't feel before. You didn't feel those emotions on the account. You start to feel scared or excited. Or at the same time, uh, both of those feelings, you start to feel greed and other, other uh, bad, but also good emotions associated to trading. Okay, they are muted. They are totally muted uh, Muted when you trade on a demo account. Uh, what are the key mistakes that uh, traders are making? So, guys, this is really not rocket science. And yes, I told you that I did 500 webinars and seminars. And it allowed me to talk with thousands of traders, with traders from Philippines, Mexico, Nigeria, Dubai. Uh, Iran, Turkey, European traders, really all over the world. And it doesn't matter where you live, uh, what's your faith, what's your skin color, etc., etc. Uh, it doesn't matter. When you're trading, we are all the same and we make the same mistakes over and over again. So traders all over the world, they make the same mistakes. And I just put four here, but I would say that it's uh, the vast majority of uh, trading mistakes are those mistakes. I would say that it's like 80% of uh, 
of all the mistakes made by traders are, the, are those four. So first one is that they trade without a proper signal. So just for fun, just to feel the thrill, uh, without uh, proper analysis, without uh, giving a trade a second thought. They just trade randomly, right? Second one is to be positioned. So they open a position and immediately they feel scared. Scared about their uh, portfolio, about their equity. Uh, because simply the position was too big. If they would open a smaller position, they would not feel this thrill, this uh, joss. Uh, they would not be scared about uh, losing money. Because they are scared not about losing money, but about losing too much. And the thing is that they open too big position. No B plan. They don't have a B plan. So they open a position thinking that, uh, of course, it will be profit. Well, that's pretty normal. You don't open a position thinking that it will be a loss. You open it and you think that uh, you made a good choice. Of course, yes, but you still need to have a B plan at the back of your head. What if I was wrong? What in this case, I opened the wrong position. Okay. You need to have this B plan, this back door, uh, when you should close your position on a loss. Because traders, they, yes, they do. They open a position thinking about profits, of course, but they don't have an escape route. They don't have an escape plan what to do with the trade if um, shit will hit the fan. Okay? So you need to be aware of this. You open a position thinking about profits, of course, but you need to have, uh, you need to have an exit. You need to know where to exit the position, not when it's too late, because sometimes traders exit the position when it's too late and the loss on the account is already like 40%. It makes no sense. Another one is overconfidence. It comes from the fact that, again, traders are successful on a, on, on a demo account. Okay, They are successful on, on a demo account. They go to the real account thinking that, Trading is super easy and uh, requires no extra work whatsoever. But it does. It's uh, easy in the meaning that you can buy or sell, uh, but it requires a lot of work, knowledge, experience. So don't think that after having one webinar, reading two books, you are the best trader in the world. Because maybe you are, but chances for that are really low, to be honest with you. So what to do, what to, how to approach trading like a professional, how to approach trading, knowing that trading psychology is the most important. Okay, guys, first things first. First, you need to think about your targets. So what are your targets? First target should not be Lamborghini in your garage. Okay, it makes no sense. First target should be not winning millions, but staying above the water. Above the water means that after, let's say, half a year or a year, you have the same amount of money as, as you had when you were starting. Then you should think about optimization of your strategy. You should uh, focus on lowering the drawdown and make, uh, so DD is drawdown, and make good risk to reward ratio. So when you're losing, you're losing small. When you're winning, you are winning big. Do not focus on winnings, focus on not losing, but don't get me wrong, it does not mean that you should avoid losses, no. You should just focus on uh, making small losses, okay? And don't focus on winnings. If you have a proper trading strategy, trading plan, winnings will come naturally. Professional traders, they focus on cutting the losses and looking for highly probable setups. On the other hand, uh, beginners focus on profits and they open whatever they see. And that's not the way which you should follow, really. 1,000% profits are obviously possible, but not probable. It is possible to have 1,000% profit. Why not? But trading is a game of probability, not possibility. And remember, don't think for 1,000% uh, a year or a month because even earning 2% a month is, uh, is a great thing and you're still a winner and you make an awesome return on a yearly basis just by doing 2% a month. Guys, your mind is the most important thing in trading, not strategies. Professional traders, they focus on removing risk 
from investment. Of course, you cannot remove uh, risk uh, entirely, but you can limit risk and you can control the risk. Okay, that's a very important case. You cannot remove totally the risk from investment because investing is risky. That's uh, that's the the, um, the characteristic of of trading on, on investing. But you can control this risk, and we are teaching you how. Beginners, uh, um, traders that are starting trading, they seek for risk. They are looking for risk. They want to feel the risk. They uh, want to sense the risk. But that's not the way. That's not the way. Of course. You may try, feel, but you shouldn't aim for it. You should eliminate risk as much as possible, okay? And what's the key? Everything goes down to one number, and this number is the percentage of your capital, of your equity, that you risk uh, per one trade. And this is like a same number, 1 to 2%. Usually one, but if you're like super extra confident about this particular setup, you can trade two percent. But in overall, you should not exceed one percent risk per one trade. You think that it's super small? It is not super small. It is super reasonable. Okay, it is small. Yes, you will, uh, using such a small um, position will allow you to open small trades uh have small losses and small winnings but winnings should be bigger than losses and all that together eating with a small spoon will bring big profits at the end of the year because investing trading is really eating with a small spoon if the percentage of uh, capital risk per one trade is too big and you lose you try again to make up for it. You open a bigger position, bigger. And um, that's a spiral where you don't want to be really. Okay, so because when you lose big, then you start uh, acting crazy. And if you lose half percent, uh, 50% of your, of your portfolio, now you need to make 100% profit in order to be on zero. That's how math works. And losses and, and, and profits, right? So don't create the situation that you will lose 50% of your, of your capital at once or at five trades. It doesn't matter. Just don't do this. Now, a few words about demo account because demo account is uh, super important. Yes, you need to trade on a demo account, but when you trade on a demo account for too long, you will never know if you're immune to risk uh, or if your trading psychology is right, if your mind is right, if you have a trader's mind, if you trade on a demo account. Why? Because your mind does not work uh, from the psychological point of view, of course when you trade on a demo account because you feel no emotions whatsoever. Maybe confidence because you think that uh, trading is easy and uh, that's actually a very bad feeling. So demo is good for developing strategy, but as long as your mind is the key, you, just, you are just wasting your time. Many traders, when moving from a demo to real account, they cannot repeat great results from demo account. I think we answered this on the very first web uh, first slide why because of emotions right controlling emotions is what you should focus on when uh, you are trading and guys even the best trading system will lose money if you won't use it properly if your mind will interfere with signals that this system gives your ego is, can be a huge obstacle market will teach you humbleness if you're not humble if you're not modest and you will trade long enough the market will teach you those skills whether do you believe it whether do you want this market will teach you what market will also do is market will force you to admit and recognize your mistakes 
that's another thing which is extra extraordinary let's say on the market that market teaches you to admit your mistakes if you make mistakes and you will still not know that you made them you will fight with it market will keep teaching you until you will find out eventually because market is brutal in penalizing those who think they are infallible and no one is infallible in trading guys again demo is awesome to learn how it works to develop your first trading strategy but the longer you stay on demo uh, the worse you get really because again your mind is not working when you trade on a on a demo account and yes i'm saying that re real account is the key but i'm not saying that you should put all your savings on a real account no start small of course but start start on a real account because you will see that it's completely different story and you need to find this out you need to find out that trading on a real account is completely different story you can do this with ten dollars you can do this with one hundred dollars it doesn't matter it, you just need to find out that trading is a different story when you trade on a real account now i would like to uh, say a few words about over trading which is one of our biggest enemies so sometimes you feel like you just need to trade you have this urge uh, to trade you don't have enough confidence in the movement you see price going up down you really should not open a trade but you have this edge inside of you that you should that trader should trade okay trader cannot sit without a position which is false trader of course can sit without a position trader can have no position whatsoever easily and you have this feeling that it's false and you need to ha have a trade and you open something in a casino it's okay but on the forex market is a huge mistake Disciplined trader always sticks to his system. And of course, disciplined trader is disciplined. And I will show you a few life examples how to approach trading. First, I would like to tell you about the fridge pattern, where you sit in front of TV, you watch your favorite uh, series on Netflix, and then you are hungry. So we go to the uh, fridge and you check um, for food and then you see bananas eh, eh, you're not that hungry in in reality you're too lazy to cook something or uh, to prepare something and so you close the fridge you come back watch tv and then now i have to eat something you open the fridge again you see those eggs bananas and okay i'm gonna have bananas and you come back to to the sofa and watch tv again how is that applicable to trading it's like you open a platform and you have this feeling that you need to trade like you're hungry you see two trades those eggs bananas and you're not confident really about this so you close the platform and that's what you should do you should close the platform and not open the platform again but you're hungry of trading you open the platform again and you open this trade on euro dollar although you shouldn't but you had this feeling inside of you that, okay, let me open a trade. That's a fridge pattern and it should be avoided at all costs. There's a Forex educator, Forex trader, mentor, Neil Fuller from Australia. And he has really great, uh, great uh, articles uh, about price action trading. And he shows two great examples of a successful trader. That uh, successful trader should be like a crocodile or like um sniper uh, so first uh, sniper so there's a question would you like to be a sniper or a rumbo of course everybody wants to be a rumbo but in trading you really need to be a sniper um how is that applicable to trading well imagine that one bullet is a, a trade so what is rumbo doing shooting uh, shooting not really looking where of course he kills like thousand bad guys but if you would be shooting like Rambo, you would miss a lot. Miss a, a lot of missed trades. 
and you don't want this in trading. In trading, you want to be a sniper. You want to wait patiently for hours or maybe even days, waiting for this perfect opportunity to pull the trigger. Once you see this perfect trade, one and only, you pull the trigger so you open the trade. Of course, you can miss. But with all this preparation, waiting, etc., uh, the bigger chance that you will succeed, that you will kill this target, which means making a profit. Another comparison is um, that you would like to be a crocodile, really, in trading. How is that applicable? How is uh, crocodile hunting? How is crocodile killing the prey? Crocodile is not running around chasing a prey, chasing good big um, antelopes, let's say. Crocodile is in general sunbathing all day, relaxing, chilling. And when he's hungry, he's not running around looking for a prey. He is silently approaching uh, to a prey and he attacks only when he has a huge, huge, huge chance, huge probability of a success. So he wants to come as close as possible, unseen, and attack in a moment that prey has limited option to escape. That's how you should trade. You should attack great trades as crocodile attacks the prey. My friends, I hope you understood this uh, this way of thinking, let's say. Uh, we are here for you, of course. Uh, we have a Facebook channel, Twitter. Visit us on Twitter. We have really great stuff going on there. A lot of analysis, a lot of analytical content, videos, articles, and all that stuff. Uh, I share my views on the market all the time there. So uh, enjoy this content. And yes, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you uh, today. Next webinar we have on Tuesday. I would like to invite you to this webinar and I wish you all the best in your trading. Thank you.